I am a little nervous, honestly, because I don't think it's over. I think this is just the end to a beginning sort of insurrection that's coming. Like, Siden stormingen av kongressen har hun kjent på Nuro, men hun har også vært forberedt på hva som ville komme. I'm sad. Like, my uncle, uh, he's one of the people that is a big Trump supporter and hasn't seen the light, so to speak. I don't feel like I can reach out to him anymore. Like, he, he walked me down the aisle at my wedding and he was sort of the father figure in my life and I don't, I don't, I don't have that trust anymore with him. You don't talk to him anymore? No, the only thing I really like talk to him is he sent me a picture of my parents when they got married in 1980. That was sort of the last communication I've had from him and it's it's sort of transactional. Hun beskriver seg selv som demokrat, liberal og Biden supporter. Hennes familie er ikke den eneste som opplever dette. Ifølge Pew Research har andelen som mener Trump gjorde en god jobb aldrig varit mer delt efter partipolitiska skiljelinjer än någon annan president i moderna historia. With Trump, people have become fanatical and even in my family like completely fanatical and and like cult like. And I I think that's the hardest part is that so many people even in my family like you can see this cult cultish nature that comes out in them. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. Under hele valgkampen, og også under innsettelsen denne uken, la Joe Biden vekt på at han ønsker å samle USA. Men det kan bli en tøff jobb. Ja, det er selvfølgelig en krisestage, og det kan selvfølgelig gjøre ting svært, men oddly nok, krisen kan være en advantage. Despite all the issues that Biden faces, if he shows some steadiness and some clarity during that time, it's going to loom large compared to the last four years. Any forward progress is going to be a victory. Go ahead, Peanut. Harder. Thank you. Yep. Only do dominant so you don't drop it. I'm very happy and I'm excited because we have we also have a new vice president, Ms. Kamala Harris, and she's so amazing. And she also looks like my best friend's mom, so I mean, what's better than that? <laughs> right, Coop? Yeah. Trump, uh, when he was president in the first year, he made all Muslims evacuate um, the America, and now one of my best friends, Ahmed, um, he has to live back in Pakistan. How did that make you feel? It made me feel sad. Stormingen av kongressen påvirket henne dypt. Gjennom sosiale medier oppdaget hun at hennes egen kusine deltok i demonstrasjonene i forkant av stormingen av kongressen i Washington, D.C. She put pictures out there that she went down. She didn't participate in the storming of the Capitol part, but she was at the big rally where the, you know, all of the incitement was occurring. Um, I don't know if she took her son. Her son is the same age as, as my two kids, um, but they, a lot of them had wished they were there. They wanted to be a part of it. They wanted to see it. They thought history was being made. Uh, and that was a little frightening to know that that was happening. How did you feel that your family took part in that? Yeah, I feel kind of sick to my stomach knowing that either they wanted to participate or that they actively went to the Capitol grounds to take part in that in that riot. For henne ble løsningen å stenge kusinen ute fra sosiale medier. I actually paused, you know, like you can sort of not unfollow, but you can pause following that person. So that's what I did for the next 30 days and then we'll see how it goes from there. And I, I've actively taken posts Maybe. that other family members have done that are like false news and I've reported them to Facebook or Twitter just because I feel like it's a little step at least I can take. Have you talked to them after what happened? No, I haven't. And my mom literally asked me not to. She didn't want to start like family drama. She would rather just hope that maybe it works itself out. That's kind of what she, she wanted, so. Men når ikke engang egen familie kan snakke om politikk, hvordan ser da fremtida til USA ut? I'm going to let it go simply because my mom asked me to, but I think as a country that can't be what we do. We can't just let it go. We have to we have to make action. We have to do something to change the last four years. Hmm. But could you start with your family and 
talk to them about politics, oh, you I think? Know. That it, that should be the easiest part, but I think talking to my family is the hardest part because you don't want your family upset at you. You don't want them to not talk to you. 